All right, on the child check-in system, we got three options. Children's Toddler's Church only, Sunday School and Children's Toddler's Church, or Sunday School only. So depending on which one, you click on that one uh, to check in your child. And the screen looks the same here. If you have a barcode, you can click barcode, and it's going to pull that up. If you got an email, it should have sent you a barcode. Uh, but you can also check in your child by using your phone number uh, to the left of the screen there. So you just type in your phone number, click search, and there's your child, and it'll pull that information up uh, if you've already submitted that online uh, or if you did it in person. So you just click uh, that option there. It'll give you the option if you have your information to check them in. And when you do that, uh, the printer will pull up, and it'll automatically print your label. Uh, and it really is that simple. So again, there's three options when you pull up your screen, and this is what the screen is going to look like. Um, and you just click on either the barcode or uh, to type in your phone number to search for your child and it's going to automatically pull up and when you do that uh, you're going to have those options there all right so if you want to edit your information you have to go to one of the volunteers to do that because it's a different setting uh, but uh, if you talk to the volunteer they can help you search for your information on here if you think you might have already submitted it uh, or you can type in your information and click search and if your name is not up there you can add your household information but say that it is you just click on edit household and then there's going to be some information that's listed there, your home address, phone number, that sort of thing. Uh, you can edit it right there. And the important thing is, is that everybody is grouped by households. And so that's important to, to know when you're inputting information. But then also you can have a guest uh, enter their information and it won't ask for as much stuff. Um, and so that's the VIP guest information. Um, and you just click add guest if you need to. But again, We'll need to have volunteers uh, that are helping with this particular function if you want to edit your child's information. Um, but you can put in there, and if it's nowhere to be found, you just click Add Person and then Add to a New Household or Add to an Existing Household if your information is already there. And the screen looks about the same as it normally would.